Proudly Made in Africa is a really interesting social enterprise that's focused on increasing the value chain that remains in Africa, leaving the value of production and supply in Africa and increasing trade and having conversations about what is needed for more of that to happen. So 10 years ago, Proudly Made in Africa came to us with the idea that they thought it would be really helpful to put more Africa into the business curriculum. So that's what we did. We planted seeds about Africa across the curriculum. Why we came to UCD with the fellowship when we were looking for a university to place it in was because here in UCD, the organisation had opened itself. The School of Business had opened itself to engage with us. And so we knew that we had real partners to engage with and that the fellowship had a real prospect of growing here. And that's proven to be correct. And so it was lovely to be here this evening. There was a looking back on the, the 15 years of Proudly Made in Africa, but the 10 years of it here in New City, and how through that period, the initiative has grown into a bigger future than we could have imagined at the outset. We are very, very proud of this initiative and all that has been accomplished over the last 10 years. Tonight we had a fascinating panel discussion consisting of past leaders of the initiative and also some current graduates who are benefiting from it. The main role of the fellow is to work with lecturers to include the teaching of Africa in their modules, in, their, in the courses that they do. So we work with the lecturers, but also then at the same time we teach the students uh, on Africa in the business school here in Queens, in Smurfit, UCD, but also then we go to other colleges as well, working with them on teaching and learning about Africa as part of the wider education. I was the first Proudly Made in Africa Fellow back in 2013 to 2015. Really delighted to have played a role at the start of the fellowship. I moved on and subsequently worked with ActionAid for six years and now I'm in the Department of Foreign Affairs. It's brilliant to be back here to see how the programme has developed and what it's achieved and to see the difference it's making in terms of business and development and sustainable livelihoods. During my time as the Proudly Made in Africa Fellow in Business and Development, one of the things I did was to teach students about African consumers. And it was always eye-opening when students would come to me and say, you know what, Penelope, we never thought of Africa as having or as resembling a consumer market. So that knowledge, that experience they obtained through the fellowship kind of changed their perspective and attitudes towards Africa. When I was a student in UCD, I worked a lot with Proudly Made in Africa and now working in the business world and in my full-time role, I'm now inviting Proudly Made Africa to come into Bank of America premises and trying to spread knowledge about doing business in Africa and African businesses. The conversation has moved far away from aid to trade. That's the conversation that we want and continue to have. So our starting point is to begin to fill in some of those gaps and to build curiosity, to build exposure and examples and to connect African students and Irish students and all of us together as global citizens. Mm -hmm.